Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. Today's character is the Sunflower on the Plants team. Uh, now she basically, is, according to her bio, the Sunflower is the backbone of the plant army, keeps her teammates in the fight with a superior healing and sunny personality. She prefers to stay near the back of the fight, lending assistance with her long range attacks. So the Sun Pulse is her main gun, the ammo is Sun Pulse. Um, basically just superheated Sunflower seeds, I think. Damage is impact damage, so there's no splash for it. The reload is medium, and the usage is mid-range. Now, her three upgrades are photosynthesis, which means that she can reload faster. Extra sunlight means she's got extra ammo capacity. And then the one which I haven't unlocked, which is supernova sunlight, which basically increases the damage. You'll find that most of them are going to have those three, the same as uh, with the pea shooter in yesterday's episode. Okay, so the Sunflower's abilities, uh, you've got three things. You've got the Sunbeam, basically where you can dig into the ground, roots itself into place. Uh, it's a beam of sunlight, which is very, very cool, like a laser beam. Um, similar to the pea shooter, you can sit in the ground. Once you've activated it, you can deactivate it without shooting, and you'll be able to use it straight away. Or equally, if you shoot at any amount of uh, laser at all, you'll have to wait for the cooldown time. You get the Solar Flare Beam, which basically is just a powered up beam, does more damage. It also looks like the Death Star laser, pretty cool. Um, then you've got the Heal Flower, which you can deploy around wherever you like, basically, and it will just sit there and heal your teammates. You can equally swap that out for the Dark Flower if you like. It just shoots lasers as zombies, basically, so it doesn't heal your teammates, but it will do damage. Uh, and then you've got the Heal Beam. Um, now, I'm not sure what the difference between the Heal Beam and the Rainbow Heal Beam are. There's a lot of rumors and things going around uh, that it's exactly the same as the standard Heal Beam. It's rainbow colored. It heals faster as well. Okay, no, that's a lie. It's colorful. So, it may heal faster, it might not, but equally, yeah, the Rainbow Heal Beam, why not? Just because. Uh, so, yeah, that's the three abilities. We're going to jump into a game and uh, I'll show off as to what she can do on the battlefield. Okay, so here's the Sunflower. Um, as you see, I've, I've kind of customised her a fair bit. She's got rainbow hands and a mask and all sorts of madness. So I'm going to get her in there and I will show you the different abilities that she has available. I'm going to go over to... That garden over there, I think, is the closest. So we're going to go check that out. As soon as Crazy Dave flies away in his magic truck of death. do 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 Go! There we go. Twiddly dinkies. Very good. So the garden will be up here. Now what I will show you first off is the Sunflower's healing, so we're going to drop one of those pea cannons in there. Sunflower healing, left buffer, there you go. And all you've got to do is stay near it, there's a certain distance to it, but obviously that is on full health, but you can carry on healing it. Um, even if you just stick around it, it will just continue to heal for as long as you are within distance. So with the plant pot, it's fairly straightforward, you just stay near it. Um, with a character, you're going to have to try and follow them around. However, if you can do that, if you've got something, say, a, a pea shooter or a chomper or something um, running around, if you can stick near them, then you can continually heal them uh, and keep the fight going. You can see what range the beam goes to. There you go. Fairly decent range. So it's pretty cool to try and do that with uh, other players if you want to keep them alive. I'm going to show you the Sunflower's Sunbeam, where exactly the same as the pea shooter, you plant yourself in the ground. And just boom. Basically a laser. Hey zombies. There we go. Um, we'll jump out of this for a second. And uh, right buffer currently is the healing pot, which you can just drop down and it will literally just sit there and drop out healing stars until it gets destroyed. There is a certain time limit on it as well uh, as to whether that gets destroyed or not. Now obviously like I showed you in the abilities you can upgrade it to a dark flower which will um, kill zombies rather than healing allies. And then you've got the regular attack which is just a machine gun of some kind really. Works effectively the same as a machine gun. You can zoom in and See, and that's the sunflower's main attack. So there you go, you see the healing plant just died there over a certain amount of time. So there we are, that's the sunflower in game there with um, garden ops. All the abilities there, you can see how it works. You see the speed of movement and stuff is slightly slower as well than the pea shooter. But that's it for the sunflower, so thanks for watching today's episode. Uh, if you like the video, then give a thumbs up. Any questions about the sunflower as a character, then uh, put a comment on below. And then also subscribe to the channel, there'll be a new video for the ultimate guide every single day. So thanks for watching, guys, and take it easy.